Due to rotation, the earth gets a type of power or force. This force works away from the center. It is called centrifugal force. Due to this force, any object on the earth would be thrown into space. However, the gravitational force is working towards the center of the earth at the same time. This force is many times greater than the centrifugal force. Hence, any object on the surface of the earth remains at the same place where it exists. Factors responsible for the occurrence of tides. The gravitational pull of the moon and the sun as well as that of the earth. Second, revolution of the earth around the sun and the indirect revolution of the moon around the sun. Third is centrifugal force generated due to the rotation of the earth. The moon is closer to the earth than the sun. Hence, its gravitational force becomes more effective than that of the sun. Tides occur due to the relative positions of the moon, the sun and the earth. A place on the earth located at the opposite point of the place Experiencing high or low tide also experiences high or low tide respectively. At the same time, this is the result of centrifugal force. Students, high tide occurs on full moon day and new moon day. Now here in this figure, the sun, the earth and the moon, they are in such a position where the moon is at full moon day. Now, if we consider that this is 0 degree meridian, 0 degree meridian, then opposite to it is here. This is 180 degree meridian. Now, when there is a high tide at 0 degree meridian, there is a rise in sea level. Here you can see water level is increased. In the same way, at the same time, 180 degree meridian also experiences high tide. Here also you can see there is rise in water level. Here if this is 180 degree meridian, because of moon's attraction, this side experiences high tide. So water level increases over here at the same time here it will be zero degree meridian here also this meridian experiences high tide here also there is increase in water level at the same time over here at right angle to it this is 90 degree east 90 degree west this both the meridians too experiences low tide. Low tide means here the water level or the sea level decreases. Here you can see here there is low level of the water. So these two places here and here there is a high tide. Here also high tide, but these places which are right angle to 180 degree and 0 degree that is 90 degree east and west, these meridians will experience low tide.
types of tides spring tides nip tides on new moon and full moon days the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in the same direction is the gravitational pull act in this direction as well as here you can see moon moon's gravitational pull pulls this water sun's gravitational pull pulls this water and due to this the total pull increases hence the tide on these days is much higher than the average high tides this is known as spring tide in this tide the bulge at the high tide is greater this is the place of high tide here also the bulge is greater high tide here there is low tide here also there is low tide as the bulge at the high tide is greater the water at low tide recedes much more the water level during spring tide is higher than the average high tide and lower than the over average low tide revolving around the earth the moon makes a right angle with respect to the earth and the sun here you can see this angle is 90 degree this position comes twice in the month on first quarter day and third quarter day on both these days the forces of both the sun and the moon operates at right angle this is 90 degree that is right angle at the place where the sun causes high tide the gravitational pull of the moon which is at right angles also acts on the sea water due to such condition the water level rise is less than usual at the time of high tide similarly fall in water level is also less than the usual at the time of low tide this is because the attraction of the sun and the moon are not complementary but at right angles to each other such tides are called nip tides nip tides are a little lower than the average high tide here is high tide here also high tide here is low tide here also low tide nip tides are a little lower than the average high tide and a little higher than the average low tides